How's it going everybody, Ben from Base Set Mio here and welcome back to the channel. First up, I do want to apologize if I do sound a bit off. I'm afraid I've caught a cold. What are you gonna do? This video is gonna be really special because this is my 1000 subscriber special. So I gave my friend $1000 and he looked at me and said, what am I supposed to do with dollars? And then I was like, you're right, and then I gave him euros instead. And then he made this mystery box for me, a 1000 euro slash 1000 dollar mystery box. So I'm really excited to open this. Um, the poll that I had on the channel was really freaking close. So I said to my friend, um, maybe if you can add a few of the booster boxes that I was originally going to open for the other video, you know, the last five um, high class Japanese sets. That was the other choice, so I said, if you can, open a few or add a few of of those boxes. Let me just hang on. Don't want to bump the microphone, that would be bad. Really huge box. So let me just try to unbox all of this and then we'll like zoom in a bit. I'm like in ultra wide mode with the camera, but so first off, we do have Shrouded Fable and I highly suspect he added this just to spite me, because he knows how much I hate this set. I hate this even more than Pokemon Go. I, I'm, I'm not kidding, I don't like Shrouded Fable at all. I, I'm guessing he just did those to spite me. And um, we also have Stellar Crown, which is really, really nice. Still need a bunch of cards from Stellar Crown. We have four sleeved booster packs of Silver Tempest. I mean, we can get lucky with the Lugia right there. We have a sealed Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. There's something really, really heavy in here. So we'll open that a little bit later, I suppose. We have a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. I love this product. I've opened so many on the channel before. So this is really, really nice. Let me put that over to the side. A Lost Origin Elite Trainer Box. Maybe we can get the Giratina, even though I have it already. Wouldn't mind another one, of course. Here we have a something in bubble wrap. It says mystery box. Don't know what that is. And also something else in, in bubble wrap right here. This looks like a shiny treasure EX booster box. And a 151 booster bundle. Not too bad. Nice. So I guess the special things are just in, in bubble wrap. And then I have... what else? Oh, crown zenith. The Zama Zenta V. And this is the Zashian V. Yeah, this is the Zashian V. I've opened these two on the channel before, but Crown Zenith is always so much fun to open. So let me just get all of this off the table so we can take a proper look. Okay, I guess there's a few more things to unbox before we can actually start ripping. So let me just cut this open and confirm my suspicions. Well, suspicions. We can basically see what this contains. Shiny Treasure EX, very nice. I do love these Japanese sets, as you know. And we get Pokemon 151. Very, very awesome set, of course. Very nice. Let's see what what's in here. I feel like only these special things have been wrapped with bubble, bubble um, foil. So let's see. This one must be really, really special. Let's see what's in here. It's also covered as to not to, to not see what it is immediately. It says mystery box and a nice little sticker of Mewtwo and Mew right here. Let's see. I feel bad for ripping it like that, but that is, if I if I do say so myself, a very, very special box indeed. That is Tag Team GX All-Stars. Very, very nice. Or All-Stars GX Tag Team is one of those. Tag Team GX All-Stars, I'm pretty sure, is the correct name for this. That is a very special set. That is very, very nice. I've been wanting to open this set in so long. This is why the one pole had this in. So, very cool. Two, two Chinese or Japanese sets, sorry, Japanese sets. Let's see what's in this ETB and then we can start ripping. This will be a really long video, by the way, so I hope, I hope you're ready. Wow, a bunch of loose booster packs. We have Pokemon 151, Japanese 151, a bunch of packs. We have more Japanese packs, just a bunch. We have Snow Hazard, we have, I've forgotten this one, Future Flash, no, this is not Future Flash, this is like another one. We have Raging Surf, we have Crimson Moon, I want to say. We have Mask Change. 
We have Paradise Drakena, that's very nice. I've forgotten some of the names of this one. We have Stellar Crown. Oh no, this is um, Stellar Miracle, that's the Japanese one. This is Future Flash. So a bunch of Japanese loose packs. And then we also have a bunch of English ones, presumably, whoa, Hidden Fates. That's pretty cool, Hidden Fates, Vivid Voltage four times. What else? Brilliant Stars four times, okay. What else? Let's see, Scarlet and Violet three times, Paldea Evolved, Paradox Rift, and Twilight Masquerade, okay. So a bunch of loose packs as well. Whoa, okay. So we have a lot of stuff to open in this opening. Man, this is, as I said, gonna be a really long opening. So I hope, I hope you're ready. Get yourself a drink or something, maybe a tea or whatever you prefer, and then we'll start ripping. But before we actually start ripping, I do want to do a giveaway, of course. For the 1000 subscriber giveaway, I thought I'd do something special and give away this 25th anniversary Japanese Mew. This is a really cool Mew and definitely one of my favorite Mew cards out there. All you have to do to win this Mew right here is be subscribed, like the video, and let me know in the comments down below your favorite pull of the entire channel. Doesn't necessarily have to be in this video specifically. Could have been an older video, could have been my very first video. Just let me know the favorite pull that I've ever done on the channel and I'll announce the winner in two weeks time actually to give enough people time to, to enter. But there we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with my least favorite product out of all of this, just to get it over with, because I'm not suspecting to get anything from Shrouded Fable, and even if we do, I think the only really good card from Shrouded Fable would be the Cassiopeia. That would be nice, I still need that for the Full Art Trainer collection if I can get this open. There we go, not a good start. Struggling to get open the first booster packs, or the first, the first product. Where is this gonna lead? We have so much stuff to open. Shrouded Fable. Man, I, I really still don't know why they made Shrouded Fable a special set, because it feels so, so weird to me. Why would you make this a special set? There isn't really any, any special cards in these. I mean, yes, of course, the cards are cool, especially, especially the um, Fazendipity, an ace card. Dangerous Laser, nice. That's not too bad. And a Copper Jar. Here is the code court for that one. Still don't know why they made that a special set. Feel like I feel like Paradise Dragona. That should have been the special set. You know, if they just did Paradise Dragona one to one over as a special set, that would have been cool enough. But I guess maybe there weren't enough cards or something like that. Or maybe what they should have done is put this and Paradise Dragona together as a special set. But no, we do get the Paradise Dragona cards in the. Um, Surging Sparks, which is released by now. Um, I'm going to open a few booster packs of those, of course. Not a whole booster box, not a whole booster box, but I'm going to open a few of those. And it's going to be, it's going to be huge, huge fun. It's a really cool set. It might actually be one of the better sets that have been recently released, Surging Sparks, because there are so many cool cards in there. Not only do you have, as I've said, the cards from Paradise Dragona, you also have cards from um, Super Electric Breaker, you know, the Pikachu. You have the um, the Jasmine Zorok, That's that looks really, really cool. And let's see, so far, other than the Ace card, not really much from Shrouded Fable, as I expected, to be fair. I expected nothing from Shrouded Fable, and I'm still disappointed. It's alright though, we'll soon move on to a few extra packs. I mean, there is so much I have to open. I'm just seeing the piles and piles of booster packs, and this is gonna take a really long time. Nice reverse energy right there, but it's nice. This might actually be longer than my binder video. We'll see. I'm already looking at the recording. It's already kind of long. So strap in. As I said, grab yourself a drink, maybe a tea. It is getting pretty cold, at least over here in Germany. Grab yourself a tea, stay warm, and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's see, Zoroark, Monkey Dory EX, okay. At least we're not going home at the end. I mean, I guess we have the, um, the ace card already as well. So that's fine. Realistically, we're never really going home empty-handed, right? Because there's always, always at least a holographic. I mean, I'm holding on to anything at this point. Because Shrouded Fable, I don't know. 
I think Shrouded Fable is the same as Paldean Fates. Because Paldean Fates is so weird. I haven't pulled any special art rare or special illustration rare from, um, not Shrouded Fable, from Paldean Fates. And I've opened so many, uh, so many packs of Paldean Fates, which is kind of strange. So, two, two pulls from that. Let's quickly open this three-pack blister right here. I don't like these three-pack blisters. That one, that one wasn't as hard to open as, as they normally are. Normally you have to struggle to find an opening, but no, this one was fine. Here is the code card for that one. At least with these three-packs blisters, we do get a nice promo, and I do love the holo foil. Very, very cool. I want to say vintage looking holo foil, because that's pretty sure the same holo foil pattern they used during the the Gen 3 era. Not during the fire red and leaf green era, because that was a really cool and different holo foil pattern. Because you had all these energies as a holo foil pattern. That was really unique and really, really cool. I wish they, or I hope they bring it back at some point. Tabu Bulu, just for that one. Oh, white right. two packs of the set that I do not like left, and then we can move on to greener pastures, as it were. Toxic Croak, we got an Eevee. At least the Eevee is cute, right? At least the Eevee is cute. Zubat, Sylveon, Yveltal. Very cool looking Power Glass. Yo, another Ace spec card. Not too bad. Poke Vital A. I'll take it, I'll take it. Haxorus. And an energy in here is the code card for you. Two ace spec cards? I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. There are better ace spec cards out there, so I don't think these are that sought after. At least I'm completely wrong. I have been enjoying, thoroughly enjoying, Pokemon TCG Pocket. I actually thought I wasn't gonna enjoy it as much as I do, but it's really, really fun. I really, really like like these shorter game times, of course, because everything is much smaller. The deck is smaller. Okie dokie. Nice. Okie dokie EX. The games are so much shorter because everything is smaller. The decks are smaller. You don't get any prize cards. You just get points and you only need three to win. And if you knock out an enemy EX Pokemon, you're already good to go. You already have two points. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. All right, let's open this up next. Just to get the, the three-pack blisters out of the way early. See, this is what I mean by three-pack blisters. Sometimes they really don't like to open. You kind of have to, to rip them open and coerce the, the stuff on the inside out of the box itself or out of the blister itself. Um, here is the code card for that one. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Here is the Latias. Very nice. I like that promo. I think I have that already, but that is a really, really cool promo. Love the Latia. Stellar Crown. Really hoping for my opening of Surging Sparks that I do pull the Latias. I mean, I still need her in in Japanese anyways, but just pulling it in English just to be able to see the artwork up close, even though the texture isn't the same, would just be so cool already. Rhyhorn, Eldegoss. We got a Briar. Briar, that's also a full art trainer that I need for the collection. Maybe we get lucky? Nope, just a Grimmsnarl. I mean, we still have a few more of Stellar Crown left, so not to worry. Surely one three-pack blister will have some pulls, right? Will have some pulls. Let's see. Yamask. Got a Bombardier. Rhyhorn. Carnivine. Frogadier. I've been playing um, Frogadier. Right, that's what I want to talk about. My Pokemon TCG Pocket deck. I've seen that a lot of people are playing, I think Mewtwo, Mewtwo and Charizard. Those are kind of like the top two decks that people are playing. I'm personally playing because, well, I don't really have many of those cards. I'm playing a water type deck. And I think my star card is actually the Articuno EX. I was lucky enough to pull the quote-unquote alternate art of that card. Looks really, really nice. I mean, I think all of the, the illustrations look really, really well done in Pokemon TCG Pocket. Really well done. I mean, some of them are taken from existing ones. That also looks really cool. That's Celebi. Some of them are taken from already existing artworks, but some of them are like exclusives. Like I think the Misty, the Sabrina, and then a few more. But there we go. Those were those packs. I think I want to open some 
some Japanese packs. So, do we want to open 151? Or do we want to open... Actually, let's open a few of these. Let's let's start with Paradise Dragoner. And then maybe, maybe open a few of these. Save Miracle, Miracle for a little bit later. Let's do it like this. Man, this is what I like. All of these kinds of different packs. So I'm playing a water deck. I do, I was also lucky enough to pull the, the Misty Full Art and then another Misty. So I have two Misties, which is really, really nice. And then I'm playing Articuno. I'm also playing, um, whatchamacallit, Lapras EX. And then I'm playing um, Greninja, of course. Greninja feels pretty strong, in my opinion. And then in a perfect world, in a perfect world, if my deck was was perfect, I would actually be playing um, two Star Use and two Star Me EX. But unfortunately, I don't have any of those. Because I mean, I do have the Star Use, but I don't have Star Me EX. So right now I'm playing um, Psyduck and, of course, Golduck. Which is still pretty cool, but I do like that deck. And especially, especially if you open up, I've had a few games where I opened up with either Articuno or with Lapras, and I also opened up with Misty. And when Misty hits, you can win a game just off of that alone. It's insane. Like, Misty seems pretty strong as a full art trainer. Because you... Oh, nice! A super rare! That's really cool. A Toxicity EX. Nice. A super rare and just a few random loose booster packs. Very nice. All right, and sleeved up. You are Toxicity. Very nice. Let's see if we can get lucky and maybe pull an illustration rare at least from Paradise Dragoner. That's a set that I always or also want to open again. Because the set is just so good. There are so many great... Yo, the Latios! Just when I said I would be very happy if we pulled an illustration rare, we pull one of the best art rares. Art rares, not illustration rares, art rares from Paradise Dragon. Now we have the Latios by Okacheke. Yo, that is lovely stuff. Let me get that sleeved up immediately and probably sent into grading just because of how nice this card looks. Very nice. Okay. Well, that was very lucky. Let's see if we if we can get twice as lucky. Maybe pull something in the second one as well. Let's see, and nope, unfortunately not. Well, that was already pretty lucky, so that is very, very nice. All right, let's open a few, a few Scarlet or Sword and Shield era packs before we move. And I also want to open that Hidden Fates pack, but I'm going to save those for after the the Silver Tempest one. Man, speaking of Silver Tempest, that's also, in my opinion, one of the best sets from the Sword and Shield era. Because let me just get all of these packs out. Because not only do you have the potential to get, like, the, the Lugia, which is, in my opinion, really cool. I know a lot of people don't really like that Lugia alternate art. And to those people, I say, look at the Japanese or Chinese version. Um, with the better texture, and you soon be surprised how good that card can actually look. But yeah, I, I like it. Even in English, I think it's a really cool artwork. I think it's a really cool artwork. But there's also the Reggie Draco, which in my opinion is really underrated. The Reggie Draco is really, really cool. You also have that Lugia in the background of, of that artwork, so maybe it's like a discount Lugia alternate art, if you will. But no, you also have the, um, the whatchamacallit, the Trainer Gallery cards, of course, which are a huge plus in Silver Tempest. You have the Rayquaza VMAX, potentially. That is a really, really cool one. The Rayquaza VMAX. Let's see. Nope, just a Neuvern holographic in this one. I've kind of forgotten how these, these um, Sword and Shield era packs work. Kind of nice to open them up again now after... A pretty long time, in my opinion. We do have a bunch more, like lying over here, and then also in the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, which also has three Evolving Skies booster packs, not to forget. And you know what happened last time? Actually, not last time. Last time I opened a Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, I got almost nothing. That was my birthday opening, you know, the the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection versus the 151 Ultra Premium Collection. But yeah, when I opened one a little while ago, I pulled the Umbreon VMAX, which was really surprising. Let's see if we can replicate that. Speaking of Reggie Draco, though, here we go, Reggie Draco V. Very, very nice. 
At least it's a V card. Let's see. I think the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection should also come with Silver Tempest. If I remember correctly. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been over half a year that I've last opened that product. It has gotten pretty expensive though, Articuno. Very nice. Articuno. It has been, or it has gotten a little bit expensive as of late. I, I remember that Charizard Ultra Premium Collection sitting at like around 100 to 120 euros for the longest. Now it's picking up. Now it's sitting at like 150 euros. So that was kind of surprising to me. I didn't expect it to go. Well, it's not that high. It's still somewhat affordable. And to be fair, though, I should probably have at least one of them in my sealed collection just because of how cool the product itself is. Speaking of Trainer Gallery cards, here we go with the Drudgedon. Very nice artwork, love that one. Love that one. Nose goes for the other spot though, but that's fine. We pulled a fire, a fire Trainer Gallery card. I might already have this. I know I have this in Japanese, but there we go. I like this artwork. This is really well done by Tiziro. Very well done, should probably sleeve it up. Um, let's see what we can open or what we can find in Hidden Fates. It's also been like ages that I've opened Hidden Fates. Man, oh man. Hidden Fates is also something really, really special. That is really special because if I do see this correctly, we do have fairy Pokemon right here. Look at this fairy type Pokemon with the Clefairy. I mean, it kind of fits. But they quickly did away with the fairy type in the TCG after this. Caterpie, we've got a Paris, we've got a Psyduck, we've got a Noivern GX! Are you kidding me? A GX card from a single Loose Hidden Fates pack. Talk about good luck, a Kangaskhan and even the fairy energy. We have the fairy energy as well, let me put that one aside, you don't see that every day. There you go, here's the code card for that one. Yo, okay. Let me sleeve up the Neuvern immediately. Yo, the Pokemon GX. Shiny Neuvern GX. Very nice. That is a really cool pull. And the Fairy Energy, you get a special place right there as well. Alright, let's open a few more Japanese booster packs right here. Let's open one set that I actually did not open. With the Crimson Haze. I did actually did not open a booster box of this one. So, well, we shall see. I have opened Mask of Change, although not a booster box. I've opened that special set. Um, where you get the um, Ogre Pawn. And you also get like eight booster packs, I think. And I pulled I pulled the Kieran from that set. So that was really, really lucky. Let's see, maybe we can get like Liak. Maybe we can get lucky in this one too. Nope. Just a Leafeon. Really cool looking Leafeon. Look at that one. Looks lovely illustrated. Alright, Mask of Change and Stellar Miracle. Let's see. Maybe maybe I can pull the Carmine from this one. That would be something. Since I already have the Kieran, the Carmine would be pretty cool. <laughs> Yo, okay. We have an Ogre Pawn EX. Forgotten the exact name of this one, but that's a cool double rare. And speaking of this one, look at those, look at that illustration. Jesus Christ, that looks really scary. Really scary stuff. Let's put that away quickly before I get too scared. Nice, not too shabby. Not too shabby, a nice double rare. When we can make it two for two. What about an illustration rare again? What about, nope. <laughs> Maybe if I will it into existence, at some point it's going to happen, but not for this one, unfortunately. Stellar Miracle. Maybe we can get an illustration rare on this one, oh, sorry, Art Rare. Art Rare. Always mixing up the names. I've seen this Pokémon so many, so many times, this illustration of the Score Bunny. Still looks as cute as ever. That one also looks really, really cool. Lumen Neon. And we have a crisp at the end there. Let's see. I mean, I pulled the lacy special art rare in, in this one. So, I don't know what else I would ask for from this set. Reboot. We got a Milkry. And a holographic. Okay. Not, not for this one, unfortunately. No illustration rare in those. 
Unfortunately. Right, let's open some Scarlet and Violet Era Pokemon 151, the English one. And then at some point we are going to open the the Japanese one. But so far, let's open the English one. Pokemon 151, and especially the cards from Pokemon 151, specifically the English version, have been picking up in price recently. And the products, man, I mean, it is a really cool set, Pokemon 151, don't get me wrong. But I feel like the hype from this one is kind of... I don't want to say it's not understandable, but then this is like a nostalgia set, right? This is like a set for those people who like who are old, like me, for example, even though... Well, I technically did play the first editions of Pokemon and kind of grew up with them. I have more connection to Gen 3 than I do to Gen 1 and 2. I, I guess I was just a little bit too young to really form a connection with those two generations and then really form one with Gen 3. But, you know, it is what it is, each to their own. Whichever generation is your favorite, I I do approve. All right. Moe can walk away with another Charizard or with another semi god pack. That would be something. Or demi god pack. I don't know what they call it. It's not a complete god pack because you don't get like all three, um, watch me call it, all three special artworks and their pre evolutions like you could get in the Japanese one. You only get one. So that's why I guess demi god pack is right. Weezing, not in this one. We do get a fire energy. Maybe that's a sign for what's to come. We shall see. Let's see what we can find in this one right here. I have a good feeling about this one. This one, for some reason, I have a good feeling about. Let's see if I'm right. Lickitung, Venonat, got a Pidgey, got a Wartortle, got a Hypno, Polyrath, got a Lickitung, We've got a Mew EX, yo! And I said I had a good feeling about this pack. A Mew EX, the golden Mew EX and a holographic energy. Talk about a really cool pack, there you go. I mean, I have this card already in English and in Japanese, but that doesn't stop me from appreciating this pull. Cause this is actually the second time I've pulled this Mew EX from Pokemon 151, believe it or not. I've pulled this one before in English. So very, very nice. I mean, there are worse cards you can pull multiple itself. I'm never gonna complain pulling multiple Pokemon or multiple Mew cards. As you know, Mew is my favorite Pokemon if the channel name wasn't any indication itself. Yo, that is a really cool pull. Very nice. Hypno, Polyrath. Those cards are comically off-centered. Not those for some reason. And a Nidoking at the end there. Okay. Let's see what we can find in these last two booster packs right here, and then we're probably gonna move on to maybe a few more Japanese packs. I am I think I'm gonna save the Tag Team GX All-Stars booster box for last, because that set is just super special, and I kind of want to end the video with like a banger. Or maybe we can rip open one of the one of the Crown Zenith ones. That could also be pretty cool. Full picks by Kavayo, Venonat, Vileplume. Holographic right there. Here's the code code for that one. Good luck to whoever gets that one. One last Pokemon 151 pack, but don't worry. We still have the Japanese versions sitting over here. And we can get a cool Master Ball promo, or not Master Ball promo, Master Ball card. Oh, speaking of Master Ball variants, supposedly the high class set that's coming uh, towards the end of the year and also, like at the start of next year, like the English variant, is gonna feature Master Ball cards or variants, reverses, there you go. Master Ball reverse cards. And also in English, those used to be Japanese exclusive, but no, they're apparently gonna do them in English as well. Yo, Charizard EX. Very nice. Check this one out. Charizard EX and another holographic energy. Nice. Always love me some Charizard. Nothing quite as cool as pulling a Red Lizard. Or maybe, actually, no, I know something that's even cooler. Pulling a Mew card. But still, very, very nice pull right there. Let's see, let's open up the last few remaining Japanese packs right here. And then I think I'm gonna tackle one of these, one of these Crown Zenith boxes. This is gonna be a really cool opening, man. I'm already thrilled through the roof. 
I get to open so many different products, and I also already have a bunch of pulls from all of those packs. That is very, very nice. Snow Hazard. Let's see. I wouldn't mind pulling the Grusha. The Grusha Full Art or even Special Art Rare. That would be very nice. Unfortunately, not in this pack right here. We just have a cool looking mountain illustration. Very well done. Let's see. I think this is one of these sets that I did not open at all. This one I'm opening up right now. I don't think I opened this one, which is why I'm I'm not exactly remembering the name. Is this Cyber Judge? Might be Cyber Judge. I think I've just remembered the name. Because I don't think I've opened this one. I don't remember exactly, but I think the release date was really close with Paradox Rift, which is why I didn't open it. Oh, look at that illustration by Uta. Yo, that looks so sick. Man, what some of these artists can do is impressive. There's no other way to put it. Here we go. We have a, I want to say Iron Crown. I think this is Iron Crown. I hope I'm getting the name correct. I recently pulled this in German, so that is very nice. They all come back at some point. The Iron Crown EX, this time in Japanese. All right, Raging Surf it is. Raging Surf, also been a while. I think we can pull, or we can potentially pull, the Groudon Art Rare in this one. That would be pretty nice. Not in this one, though. Maybe the Aegis Slash Art Rare as well. That one looks really cool. I'm pretty sure the Aegis Slash Art Rare is illustrated by an artist that usually did um, Legend of the... or Legend of Zelda artwork. So maybe, let's see... Yo, it is an Art Rare! Not the Art Rare I was after, but here we go. Uh, we have a Pharaoh Thorn, I want to say, because this is Pharaoh Seed, this must be Pharaoh Thorn. I actually, funny thing, I actually used this Pokemon on my very first playthrough of, hope I get the generation correct, X and Y. I, I'm pretty sure this is X and Y, I don't think this is black and white, I'm pretty sure this is X and Y. Man, I'm, ho I'm really hoping I'm getting, getting the generation correct, but that is a really cool one. I haven't seen this one before, and that's also kind of cool. I mean, I've opened Raging Surf, but obviously from just opening one booster box and then opening one booster box whenever the cards release in English, you don't get to see every single card. So I have never seen this card before. That looks really, really nice. It's just walking down the stairs. Lovely, lovely stuff. Really cool artwork. All right, let's tackle one of these, these Crown Zenith boxes. I've actually opened these on the channel before when they came out. So, we are in for a treat, not just because we have so many Crown Zenith booster box or booster packs. Crown Zenith is just a treat to open, like, all the freaking time. Crown Zenith is so much fun to open. We also get a bunch of sleeves. I have so many of these. We get a cool-looking promo, we get a figure and a pin of Zashian in this case, and we get, of course, a bunch of Crown Zenith booster packs. All right, some Crown Zenith packs. We also have this cool-looking Zashian promo, who's going to be sleeved up immediately, because my boy Zashian needs a sleeve, of course. Zashian is, of course, the cooler Pokémon of the two. I'm sure everyone agrees on that one. There you go. And Crown Zenith. This is going to be a treat. Um, I think the cards that I really want from Crown Zenith would be the golden cards. Believe it or not, for the amount of Crown Zenith that I've opened, I've only ever pulled one golden card from the set. I've pulled the golden Dialga or Palkia, I don't remember exactly. One of the two. I'm pretty sure it was the Dialga. So let's see if we can get lucky right here, Dub Wall. Nothing in the first pack, but you know, that's just the first pack. We have so many packs left. Not just for this product in particular, we also have a whole other box behind there. All right, let's continue on with Crown Zenith. Let's see. I mean, there are so many cool cards in there. If you're lucky enough, which you are, because the pull rates in Crown Zenith, at least from what I remember, are pretty good. Like, whatever you pull, you're going to be really happy with. If it's a full art trainer or something like Irida, Adaman, um, what else is there? Melanie, Raihan, so on and so forth. All of the full art trainers are cool. All of the Pokémon you could potentially pull in here are super cool. We have the Zora Arc, we have the... No, we don't have the Lucario. The Lucario was a promo in the Elite Trainer Box. We have the Darkrai, and we have the... 
What else is there? I'm forgetting a bunch of them because I can't think of them at the top of my head. The Deoxys. We have the, um, the whatchamacallit. The Zera Aura. There are so many cool cards that you can put, potentially pull in this set. Unfortunately, though, we seem to be hit, uh, hitting a dry streak right here. Not really any good pulls in this one, which is uncharacteristic of Crown Zenith, to say the very least. But I'm sure we're gonna pull something at some point. I'm convinced we are. I'm convinced we're gonna pull something at some point, right? We have an Aaron. Corfish, very happy looking Corfish. Love that illustration. Scyther. Got a Riolu. Tangela. And a Lipart. Once again, nothing. Very uncharacteristic. Oh, Friends in Hizui, yes, of course. Friends in Hizui, Friends in Zeno. That's just more full of trainers, though. That's just more full of trainers, but it's fine. Pull anything in this one. Um, what else? I'm really trying to think what else is in here. Reggie Gigas. Because it's been so long that I've opened Crown Zenith and also been so long since I've opened V Star Universe. I'm really trying to think. The um, Zoro Arc, the Izuian Zoro Arc, that's a really cool one. Tauros. Whoa, okay. That is really, really strange. No pulls in that many packs from Crown Zenith. That is really strange. That is really, really strange. I'm sure something will come our way at some point. Maybe everything is hinting towards a golden card in this pack right here. We got a Purloin chilling on the keyboard, as cats do usually. My cat does it as well. My cat does it. We have an autographed Hop card. Nice. That is worthless because Hop is a terrible character. No, I'm just kidding. I like Hop. But I feel like I think a lot of people actually don't like Hop for some reason. I think he's a fine character. It's like it's it's whatever, really. I don't really mind him, but I wouldn't say he's my favorite character. Let's put it that way, right? Maybe that's how most people think about Hop. They don't necessarily hate Hop, they just think I he's whatever. Right? Maybe that's how people think about Hop. Let's see. Maybe we can get our first pull in Crown Zenith. I said it has good pull rates. Don't disappoint. Okay, well, maybe we've hit a dud box. Maybe, maybe this is like a dud box. I don't remember it being this bad. Maybe this is a reprint and they have severely reduced the, the pull rates. I don't really think so, though. Like, when I first opened it, I'm pretty sure these had insane pull rates. Not just this product, but... Crown Zenith in general had insane luck. The Suicune V, the Entei V, the Raikou V, those are just some of the cards that are really cool. Ditto! Well, we have our first poll at least with the Ditto and just a non-holographic Pangaro. Well, if we didn't pull the Ditto, that would have been a dot pack as well. Here's the Kokot, sorry. Almost didn't show that one. All right, three Crown Zenith packs left and all we've pulled so far is a... An illustration rare. You can't be serious, right? I said, I said this set had good pull rates. Please do not disappoint me. Please don't make me be wrong. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, okay, a Rotom V-Star. I was just gonna say, come on. Well, that is a Rotom V-Star. Not what you're after, of course. But hey, at least it wasn't just another dot pack. Well, that's the wrong way. There you go. At least it isn't another dot pack. Rotom V-Star, there you go. Let's see, come on, we have to pull at least something, at least, at least something. Full Art Trainer, or like a Special Art Rare Pokemon, or something like that. Anything, anything at this point, or maybe it's just waiting for the Golden Giratina. Just you wait. Just you wait, the Golden Giratina is gonna be right here, right after this Purloin. Nope, just a non holographic Lightning Rod. I did say, I did say though that the set has good pull rates, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, it's trying its hardest to prove me wrong. Trust me, this set has good pull rates. Please, you must believe me. This is just a one-time thing. This is just a one-time thing. To be fair, though, this is really a one-time thing. All of the Crown Zenith products I've opened always had, like, at least one decent pull in. This seems very uncharacteristic. Well, a Reggie Gigas V, at least. Still very uncharacteristic to not at least pull one of these special special arts from any of them, like full art trainer, so on and so forth. That is very uncharacteristic of Crown Zenith. Alright, and with that terrible experience, let's move away from the Sword and Shield era for a little bit. 
and maybe move towards something that should have very good pull rates, Scarlet and Violet and Paldea Evolved. The two first sets for the Scarlet and Violet era, and very notorious for having insane pull rates, like really, really good pull rates. I mean, if you've seen Malpadea Evolved Booster Box opening that I did a little while ago, where I actually tried to figure out if the cards can be wait, or if the booster packs can be wait, sorry. And I actually ended up pulling two special art rares, two special illustration rares, which was insane armor rogue. And here is the code card for that one. Like, these sets are notorious for having really good pull rates, and then they they kind of reduced them ever since, like, after Paldea evolved, the pull rates have gone really, really down. They're not nearly as bad as during the Sword and Shield era, I'm pretty sure, because if you just look at evolving skies, the, the pull rates are horrible, especially if you're chasing a a single card, like the Umbreon VMAX, for example. Me, me ride on. And our last Scarlet and Violet era pack, or Scarlet and Violet base set pack, not the last Scarlet and Violet era pack. No siree, we do have a bunch more Pokeball, very nice. Rotom, Palpad, Flabebe. We got, oops, that's a flip, look at that one. Spirit Tomb, Ultra Ball, Esparta, got a Floet, got a Starly Art Rare. Very nice. Very, very nice. In this case, it is a special, or in this case, it is an illustration, right? Not an art rare. I hate it with these different, with these different terminologies. And a Cyclothar. Hey, at least we have an art rare. That's really nice. And that is a lovely looking Starly. That is so lovely looking, in fact, that you definitely deserve to be in a sleeve. Look at this one. Nice. I love it. I love it. All right, Paldea evolved. I still need that Yono from Paldea Evolved, I'll be honest. I still need that Yono. I've pulled the standard Yono before, the like the non-special illustration rare Yono, but I need that special illustration rare Yono for the collection. And I still haven't bought it. I mean, I do want to buy more EX cards for the collection first before I continue. Yo, a gold card Tinglu EX. Talking about good pull rates, there we are. As I said, see, this time I, I wasn't wrong. These sets do have good pull rates, especially Scarlet and Violet and um, Paldea Evolved. Anything after that, though, is a bit iffy. Let's see, maybe we can get something else. Maybe another illustration rare. That would be nice. Shinx, very cute. Nimble, got a Mastiff. Fletch Cinder, Vigoroth. Oranguru, just chilling Wigglytuff. Spide Ops and Boss's Orders. Boss's Orders by Spaghetti's or featuring Spaghetti's. Featuring Spaghetti's. Well, one last Paldea Evolved pack. And then I might actually. No, I think I'm opening the 151 Japanese packs after this. I've been waiting for a really long time to open these. So after this pack right here Miss Drevis, Gotharita, Haunch Crow, Surwuru, got a Watch Roll. Got a Fue Coco and an Oricorio. Okay. I mean, we have a golden card, a Tinglu EX. That is very, very nice. It is a bit of centered, of course, but I don't even care. This is gonna, gonna get sleeved up and put in a special pile. There you go. All right, let's open Japanese Pokemon 151 packs up next. This is gonna be really interesting. This is gonna be interesting. I wonder why only 10 packs. I wonder why it didn't include a full booster box, but, you know, I'm still very... Well, here is the Master Ball promo right off the bat in the first pack. A Tentacool. A Tentacool Master Ball promo. Okay. I pulled the Geodude, I think, in my last opening. In my last Japanese 151 opening. So now I have the Tentacool. Let's put you right there and see if we if we can't pull anything else. I don't know where he took those booster packs from. Maybe he took them from a booster box itself or maybe he just bought them loose. Well, here is an art rare. The Charmeleon. Very nice. I was just gonna say, even if these packs in particular, since you know they are loose packs, even if these don't necessarily feature a special art rare, at least we still have the normal art rares to contend with. Charmeleon, of course, being one of them. This is also way cheaper than the English counterpart, of course. Way more affordable. 
way more affordable. And I highly suggest if you don't necessarily play with the cards, just grab yourself the Japanese versions, do yourself a favor, save up some money, or save yourself, save yourself some money and just grab the Japanese versions. I do know there are a bunch of collectors out there that like to be able to read their cards when they look in their collection, but for me, I don't necessarily, or I don't even plan on playing with any of the cards that I do have in my binder. So, what difference does it make if I can read them or not? If I want to read them, I can look up the translation online, right? Let's see, I'm kind of trying to look out for like another Master Ball promo, because that would kind of confirm that these are not from the same booster box. Here's a Jinx EX. But I think these are just from one booster box. Maybe he ripped one open or something like that. We'll see. We shall see. We shall see Vile Plume and a Rhyhorn at the end there. Or Rhydon, sorry. Rhydon at the end there. Always mix them up. Especially for these Gen 1 Pokemon, I'm still trying to, to think of their English names because I've, I've memorized their German names. Because that's all I've known for a really long time. So it's still kind of difficult for me to think of, of all the, the English names, especially for these um, older ones. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Volpix by Cavallo. Very nice. Tangela. Let's see. No, that's just a normal, a normal um, reverse Stormy. And nothing right there. That's okay though. That is okay. Maybe uh, maybe one more art rare. That would be nice. Got a Machop. Got a Onyx. And just another holographic Moltres. Okay. Okay. We got two more packs right here. Let's see. Let's see. Got a Zubat. Ghastly, Caterpie, yo, Mewtwo Art Rare! I've kind of forgotten this was a normal Art Rare in this set, because this is a promo in English. Very nice, okay. So far, though, I haven't seen another Master Ball promo, so I think he must have just taken these from, like, one booster box. One last pack, let me first of all sleeve up the Mewtwo, because this is a lovely looking promo. Look at this one. That is so well done. Lovely stuff. Love, lovely stuff. All right, one last pack right here. We've got a fossil, We've got an Abra. We've got another Abra, a reverse this time, and a Venusaur EX. Very nice, double rare, double rare Venusaur, and a Giovanni at the end right there. That goes well together with our Charizard EX that we've pulled a bit earlier. Very nice. Okay, well. I think I want to open some Sword and Shield era packs. I'm just trying to think if I want to open the Lost Originally trainer box or if I want to open these first. I think I want to open the Vivid Voltage ones and then maybe open three more Paradox Rift. And then afterwards, I might want to tackle the, the Lost Originally trainer box. Let's do it like that, sure. Let's do it like that. I'm already looking at the recording and according to the recording, I have no idea how long the video is actually going to be at this point. I'm already sitting at one hour and two minutes, and I'm not even done. I, I think I'm about halfway done with all the stuff. I still I still have the Charizard Ultra Premium collection to go through for Pete's sake. That is going to take also a really long time, because there are so many packs in there as well. Just a Galarian Perserker there. Maybe I should be going through these packs a bit quicker then, just so I can keep an... Actually, no. I think the ship has sailed by... Or for keeping this this video at a decent length, that ship has sailed, long sailed, because this video is going to be long no matter what I do, no matter what I do. So I might as well just take my time, right? Toad School, Velanite. We got a Swablu, very cute. Norman, Cyclozar, Toad School, Plazzle. Got an Oricurio and a Vushian. Here's the code card for that one. All right, another Vivid Voltage pack right here. Let's see. I think I've pulled the second best card from Vivid Voltage um, before. I've pulled the Pikachu V with the um, pink background. I haven't pulled the, the Rainbow Pikachu. I sure won't. 
But yeah, I pulled the second best. I'm pretty sure that was the second best. I think it was for the longest time, though. Pretty sure it still is. I don't think anything has changed on that. But there we are. Paradox Rift. I still need so many cards from Paradox Rift and Twilight Masquerade. Even though I necessarily want the, the special illustration rares in Japanese and not in English, I still want so many cards, especially the full art trainers, because those I'm actually connecting, collecting in English, because the Japanese ones are just a little bit too expensive. So that's why I'm collecting those in English. Nackley. Yo, okay. Velizula or Veluza. Here we go. Veluza. Very nice. Had to double check on the name there, not gonna lie. Had to double check on the name there. Very nice illustration. I've pulled this one in Japanese before. All right. Gotta sleeve that one up, of course. There we go. Let's open one more Vivid Voltage. And then, honestly, I might actually rip the the shiny treasure EX box because I'm really I really want to open um, a few more Japanese packs but I'm still gonna save the the tag team GX all-stars booster box for last let's see Wismer and a Mutsdale non-holographic okay well here is the code card for that one vivid voltage I mean of course vivid voltage realistically the only card you really want to pull is of course the Pikachu but let's see, Paradox Rift on the other hand. Paradox Rift does have a bunch of other cards that you would potentially want for your collection. A bunch of them, Toad School, Toxel, Spindar, Nimble, got a Recon, that's an also really cool special illustration rare, also pretty cheap, pretty affordable. Mill Tank, Altaria EX, very nice. And here is the code card, oh that's upside down, here's the code card. Altaria EX, not too shabby, I'll take it. I'll take it, Altaria is always nice. Love Altaria, of course. Gen 3 Pokemon. Why wouldn't I like Altaria, right? Why wouldn't I like Altaria? All right, let's give this Vivid Voltage one last chance, and then we do have more Vivid Voltage in that Charizard Ultra Premium collection. So we'll see Tynamo, Chatdot, Clubopus, the Yancy, and the Dusk Noir. Okay. Nothing in, in Vivid Voltage, at least not in these Vivid Voltage packs, when we do have more luck in the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection, but we'll see. Let's open Shiny Treasure EX. I do need a, a change of pace from these English booster packs. I do need to open some Japanese packs right there. So let's see. Hopefully we can get pretty lucky. I mean, I've already have the Bubble Mew from this one, but I still actually, I still need the Charizard EX, the shiny one. That, that, that would be a really cool card to pull. Let me just pull these out right here. I've opened so many of, of Shiny Treasure EX as well. Because it's really, really affordable. Pretty sure it still is. Because the card isn't, or the set isn't really that sought after. But I like the set. It's really, really cool. Especially that Gardevoir and that Mew you can potentially pull from this set. And then again, special sets from, from Japan or these high class sets they always release towards the end of the year are always super fun to open. I'm really excited to see this year's high class set. Well, here is our super rare already. We have the Neuvern EX, but that doesn't necessarily mean we can't get another one, because I've had sets before that had the Neuvern, or the the um, super shiny rare, I think this is, because I've had boxes before that had the super shiny rare in addition to a special art rare, so... Necessarily, that doesn't mean we won't get any, and we still have our three artwares that we are promised to get. So don't you worry. Don't you worry. We've got a Volt Orb. We've got a Holographic, another Holographic, and a Paldean Tauros. Very nice. And here's our first double rare with the Fortress. And our other commons at the end right there. When you do get a lot of pulls from these high-class sets, I'm expecting it's the same for Tag Team GX All-Stars. More on that later, though. First, we do have to contend with Shiny Treasure EX. And let's see Toad School. Got a Wingle. Got a Natu. This Roulette. Stormy. We've got a Mew EX. Very nice. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take the Mew EX. Always happy to pull a Mew. Don't mind if I do. 
Don't mind if I do. I think I have like three of these already, specifically in this version. But more, more can't hurt. Give me all the Mew cards. All of the Mew cards. Let's see. Got an Oddish. Got a Mankey. Got an Entei, very cool looking. We have a Maridon EX, very nice. And our other commons. Alright, let's continue on. Let's continue on and see if we can't get ourselves a special art rare. Because the boxes exist with two, two of these potential pulls. Let's see, just an energy and an Alakazam EX. Very, very nice. I've also pulled a God Pack before. I'm pretty sure even if you pull a your promised super rare or better, in this case a shiny super rare, you can still potentially pull a God Pack. That happened to me before. So maybe, maybe we can pull a God Pack. We'll see. I mean, we'll immediately know because the first card would be an illustration rare or art rare in this case. But that only happened once to me, so I don't know. Oh, right, we don't get um, art rares in this one, I've completely forgotten. We get the baby shinies, and Mimikyu is one of the better ones. Very nice, a Mimikyu and a Skeledurch EX. Very, very nice. I've kind of forgotten that this set doesn't feature... Well, no, it does feature art rares, but I think the art rares in this one specifically you only get in God Packs, correct me if I'm wrong. Because most of these are taken up by these baby shinies. Mimikyu right here, that looks very, very nice. Yeah, I love that. Love that. What other baby shinies are here? I guess Charmander, that would also be a pretty good one, right? We'll see. We, we shall see. We'll just be surprised. Don't you worry. We'll just let ourselves be surprised. We have a Gardevoir EX, very nice. I already have that special artware of that card. I've bought it a little while ago, but of course I wouldn't mind pulling it again because the card is just beautiful in the in the special artware form. Also, I've completely forgotten. I need to sleeve up my Mimikyu. What am I doing? You deserve a sleeve. The Mimikyu deserves a sleeve just because of how cute it is. All right, two more of these baby shinies should be promised. If I could open this pack, really hard to open. That means there's something really good in here. Let's see if I'm correct. Let's see. Let's see, we have Professor Seda, Toxicity, and a Glimit, I'm pretty sure this is. Glimit and a Quaquavel EX, okay. Okay, well, Glimit Super Ray, or Glimit Baby Shiny. Not too bad, not too bad. You also get sleeved up, sleeve up the baby shinies, of course. I have so many of them. All in my trade binder, of course. Alright, two more packs to contend with. Once again, could potentially still be a god pack, could still be a um, special art we're hiding in here. So, let's see. Charmeleon, Dodrio. We have Professor Turo for a change, another Glimit. And a Ting Lu. Okay, so the last pack should feature... Hang on, I do need to take out the Tinglu. So our last pack should feature our last baby shiny. Let's see what this one is, is going to be. Let's see. I might do the card trick on this one if it isn't a god pack, which it... It isn't, okay. So let me do the card trick. Three to the front, there we go. There we go. There we go, let's see. The Tandem Mouse, got a Fido. We've got Spaghetti's again. We have a Tinker Tink, I wanna say. I'm always so I'm always pretty um, confused with the pre-evolutions of this one. Tinkerton, Tinker Tink. I'm, uh, I'm sorry if I'm getting it wrong. And a Charizard EX. Okay. Well talk about a last pack. Very nice. That's the wrong kind of Charizard EX though. Would have preferred the other version. You know, of the special art rare variety. But that in itself is still pretty cool. Very nice. Let's open this Lost Origin Elite Trainer Box. I typically always have bad luck with Elite Trainer Boxes, but maybe this will be different. Um, we'll see. I, I wouldn't hold my breath though. As I said, I always have bad luck with Elite Trainer Boxes. I, th I don't think I've ever pulled anything decent from like the packs inside of an Elite Trainer Box. I know some people actually swear by them. But not me. Not me. 
I do not pull anything good out of these ever. Let me get the booster packs out right there. What else is in here? Shouldn't there be a promo somewhere? Or am I misremembering things? Maybe I should take it actually out. Let's take it out. There is the code card. Um, no, I was wrong. There is no promo in this one. Okay, I might have misremembered something. When we do also get like all of these goodies, um, these dividers I'll actually take out because I like using these for my bulk. So there you go. Those dividers are mine. I guess the sleeves, I could use some some more sleeves. So there we go. Everything else I think is going to stay in here. Um, let me show off the code card to you. There you go. And that can go back in there as well. There we are. And then I'm presumably going to save that for more bulk, although I already have like these really huge cardboard ones. I don't know if you know them. Like really cardboard ones that hold like up to 4,000 um, cards. I usually like using those. And then use those dividers to split between between different languages. But let's see. As I said, wouldn't hold my breath for this one. I've had notoriously really bad luck with Elite Trainer boxes. I don't think I've ever pulled anything good out of any of these. But we'll see. Maybe this will be different. Finian. And we've got a Zoroa. Paris. Inkei. Got a Mawile. We've got a Gengar holographic, that technically counts as a pull during the Sword and Shield era. And here is the code card for that one. Technically, that counts as a pull for the Sword and Shield era. It has come down to that, counting holographics as pulls. Maybe we can improve. Maybe, maybe we can improve. Maybe I do need a change of pace, though. Maybe we, we open Crown Zenith afterwards. We'll see. We are getting towards the end, though. I say getting towards the end. Pretty sure we are... Like by the end of everything, I might be very close to the two-hour mark, actually, for this video. Like, this is gonna be a really long video. That's for sure. But, you know, I don't do this every day. I think I showed this code card, right? There you go. I don't do these kinds of videos every day, right? So, might as well. And it is a very special, very special occasion to celebrate, of course. 1,000 subscribers. That's still insane to me. 1,000. It's not even just 1,000 because the last video performed so well. I'm like sitting at 1,130 by now. That's insane. The last video did so incredibly well. I was really surprised. And I'm also really surprised by the amount of support and kind comments that I've gotten like below that video. I'm really, really happy about that. Thank you, everyone that did comment, like the video, and so on. You guys are awesome. Really are. Okay, so far, as I said, wouldn't hold my breath for this Elite Trainer box. Maybe I'll put up some annotation and you can skip this opening because it's an Elite Trainer box. Nothing was ever pulled in this Elite Trainer box. Nothing of value was ever pulled. Oh, Radiant Hizuian Sneasler, okay. And a Drapion V-Star, that was a... Well, maybe it hurt me. Maybe it hurt me. And then it gave me a double pull in this booster pack right here. Drapion and the... The Sneasler, very nice. Still have four Lost Origin left, at least in this one. I think we do have a bunch more in in the Charlotte Ultra Premium Collection. I think I do want to open the Ultra Premium Collection, like, second to last, and then the Tag Team GX All-Stars booster box, of course, as the last thing I do open in this video. Because I do want to end it with a banger, of course. Let's see, Cromorant. Not what we're after, but okay. But, okay, right. So far, though, this is just business as usual. Nothing to write home about from Elite Trainer Boxes. I'm always surprised that whenever I see someone post they have a really good pull from an Elite Trainer Box, I'm just like, how? How did you do that? What kind of gods do I need to pray to or sacrifice something to to get good pulls from an Elite Trainer Box? Look at this holographic Darkrai. Really cool looking Darkrai, don't get me wrong. But just a dark ride, nonetheless. Like, what what things do I need to sacrifice to which god to get good pulls from an elite trainer box? That's what I want to know. Like, what kind of deal do they have? That's that's what I'm asking. Pikachu, Phantom, Sudobudu, got an Electric, Love Disc, I've got a Gift Energy, and a Hisorian Zoroark V. Okay. Well, at least that's something. At least that is not a holographic or a non-holographic, at least that is a nice-looking V-card. 
not too shabby. Go over on that pile. And one last Lost Origin pack, at least for now. At least for now. All right, let me rip this one open, almost spoiling everything, but I don't think there's going to be anything in this one. Because Elite Trainer Boxes, I mean, it's always going to be... Yo, okay, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Adventurous Discovery. Nice full art trainer right here and a non-holographic Hoopa. A Rizu. And here is the code card for that one. Right, okay. Um, I'm happy with that one. It is a full art trainer and I don't have that. I don't have this one in particular, so that's a new one. I think I might have pulled that one before, although I'm not too sure. Because she seems kind of familiar. But there we are, sleeved up and going on the pile. The pile of potential, or the pile of pulls, like anything. Look at this one. Look at the amount of pulls I've gotten. Look at this. Man, that is insane. So many pulls in this opening. I mean, of course, we do open a bunch of products. Uh, let's open this shiny Zamazenta one. Maybe, maybe I can redeem Crown Zenith with this one. Because the Zashian box, that one... I refuse to believe that was an actual box. That must have been a factory error. Hopefully this time will came out of a different factory. Alright, this is just more of the same. In case in this one we do get the, the Zamazenta figure and the Zamazenta pin. I actually really like these pins. More sleeves though, I do have so many sleeves. We have Zamazenta. Um, this is way less cool than the Zashian, so I will not sleeve this one up. No, just kidding. No, I'm just kidding, you also get a sleeve, Zamazenta, there you go. And here is the code court for that one. Enjoy. And more Crown Zenith. Hopefully, not more of the same as compared to the Zashian one, because the Zashian that was really interesting to say the very least. Hopefully, this one is way better. All right, Crown Zenith. Let's see. Hopefully, as I said, Crown Zenith has really good pull rates. Um, knock on wood. Hopefully, this one does. Typically, it does. I don't know what's wrong with the other box. But yeah, all the cards you can potentially pull from Crown Zenith are gonna be really cool. Zera Aura just chilling. That's the first pack though, don't you worry, don't you worry, that's just the first pack. It's not gonna be a repeat of the Zashian box, I'm pretty sure. It's not gonna be a repeat of the Zashian box, come on. Come on, this is gonna be totally different, right? It's gonna be totally different. Absolutely and totally different. No, 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 this is this is not gonna be a repeat. We're gonna pull a special art rare in this one right here, or special illustration or whatever. Alternate art. Nope, just a Snorlax. Just a Snorlax. Looks like more of the same. I mean, these came from the same box, I'm pretty sure. Like from the same sealed case. So maybe that's why they might not have pulls. I don't believe that these used to have that little pulls. I don't believe that one bit. Because when I opened them, they had I had so many pulls from these. Corfish, very happy. Scyther, Riolu, Griangus, got a holographic energy, very nice, haven't had that before. And a Scyther holographic, nonetheless. Here is the code card for that one. Alright, three packs in, and still nothing other than a holographic energy, but I don't I don't count that as a pull, realistically. Don't count that as a pull. It's a really cool way to, like, spice up your, your deck, if you will. Salandit, Purloin, got a Grubbin, got a Skrelp, Uptile, Whalemur, and a Luxray. Okay, maybe it is more of the same. Maybe the pull rates really have changed. Maybe these are reprint boxes and not original boxes. Because that's something I've had my suspicions about, not just for Crown Zenith, most notably for um, this box right here, actually, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. I feel like reprints of those boxes don't necessarily feature the same amount of pulls as, like, the original box, because I've opened three of this on the channel before. Just look at the first two boxes I've opened, and then compare them to the one I've opened on my birthday, which was about, like, seven months ago. Yo, Cricket Tune, very nice. Cricket Tune and a Young Mega. I think I think the the box that I opened like for my birthday, that one must have been a reprint box. Cause the pull rates were abysmal. At least we have a nice looking Cricket Tune right here, very nice. They were actually abysmal. 
like way below what I would have expected. I mean, the first box I opened, I think around Christmas two or three years ago by now, I think two years ago. And even I didn't pull anything too crazy, of course, I mean, didn't pull any alternate arts, but I still had a decent amount of pulls. Like the complete opposite from, from what I did pull in the, in the birthday opening. Though that is kind of strange. Maybe something like that exists. Maybe the reprint boxes are meant to be sealed or meant to be kept sealed, if you will. Maybe, maybe they are meant to be kept sealed. Okay, we're already, we're approaching one and a half hours of recording. And so far, so far, I mean, we are getting close to the end there. Just a few more booster packs here and there. But still have a few more to open, especially that Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. This is going to be the bulk of of the booster packs, because we, how many do we have in here? 18 or something? I'm just trying to read the, the blip at the side right here, but it doesn't say... No, it doesn't say the number of packs on this side. I, I do, I would have to flip it around to see. Ah, we'll see. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's 18, if I remember correctly. So a bunch of packs, basically half a booster box. So strap in so far, though. These these must have been from a defective factory. Like, let's see, Riolu. We have to get something at some point. Come on, Young Goose, Cherubi, Starlight, don't disappoint me. Crown Zenith is... Yo, Radiant Karjabak, okay. Crown Zenith is such a cool, such a cool set. Please let me just pull at least, at least one special art rare. Or like one alternate art. Any, anything at this point, really. All right. Two more packs left for Crown Zenith. We'll see. Come on, at least one special art rare. It was never this bad with these. So I don't think these were necessarily resealed as well. Maybe they were, but yeah. Who resealed Crown Zenith, right? No one does. No one is out there resealing, resealing um, Crown Zenith. Come on, come on. If people are out there resealing Crown Zenith, I think we have, we have more things to worry about. If they were really doing something like that. Let's see. Sunkern. We have a Mister Mime. Potion. Bidoof. Ponyart. Come on. Something. Nope. Just a double. Okay. Well. I'm just jotting this down to, like, defective boxes, like, arrow boxes, and not in a good way. Typically, if you hear arrow boxes, you always presume, oh, this is gonna be cool. No, these are arrow boxes in the wrong way. But I don't believe that Crown Zenith had that worse pull rates, that bad pull rates. Let's open these last Flues booster packs before we tackle the Charizard Ultra Premium collection. Um, let's open Twilight Masquerade. Let's see what we can find in here. Come on. Maybe we can get something. It's been a while since we've got something really, really good. Other than that full-out trainer. Um, let's see. Maybe Twilight Masquerade is the answer. Enhanced Hammer, Halucher, and just Iron Leaves. Okay. Here is the code card for that one. Brilliant Stars. Also been a while that I've opened Brilliant Stars. I think the card you do want to pull from Brilliant Stars is still the Charizard, of course. I mean, it's a Charizard. Oh, what a surprise. The most expensive card, and also the coolest looking card in the set, is, is the Charizard. Actually, coolest looking card, no, that's debatable. Arceus V. Very nice. I think Arceus. Pretty sure the Arceus. I've actually posted the card earlier today, or at the time of recording today. And the Arceus alternate art is also in here. That one is also really, really cool. We've pulled the V, maybe that's a sign. We've pulled um, the God of Pokemon himself, or itself. All right, let's open one more Brilliant Stars pack before we open another Twilight Masquerade one. Let's see, Trapinch. We've got an Execute. Starly, Shroomish, Piplup. Got a Dusk Noir. And a Raichu V, nice, okay. Not bad. Got a Raichu V. And we have an upside down code card. Interesting, okay. That is very interesting. Strange. Strange. I have to I have to keep an eye on that. Alright. Let's see. Twilight Masquerade. The card that is going through the roof from Twilight Masquerade right about now is the Greninja. Which is actually hilarious if you think about it. A card 
that is inferior in every single way to the Japanese version is almost twice as expensive as the Japanese version. That is that is very very funny. I I don't I don't really get why people are spending that much on on the card that is inferior to the Japanese version. That is that is beyond me. I do know there are people out there as I've said that like to read their cards or maybe maybe they do actually plan to play with it, which is all fine each to their own. But I just I want people to save money and not spend their money unnecessarily. But we'll see Terra Torterra. Okay, let's see what way the No, this one is the right way around. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Very strange. The other the other code card was the other way around. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Let's open this one up and then we do tackle our Charizard Ultra Premium collection. I do tell you one thing though. If the other if the other option one where I opened five um, five of the last um, high class sets, Japanese high class sets, I think we've already be done with the video. It would have been a way shorter video. Because there's just so much content from this one. And a Morris, okay. Very nice. And a Morris and a Chandler. Talking about an illustration rare, very nice. Sleeve this one up, there you go. And a Morris. And one last brilliant stars, at least until we open this one back up. Let's see brilliant stars. We've got a Grimer, we've got a Sneasel, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Chimeco, got a Sock, and a Star Raptor there. Okay, here is the code card for that one. Enjoy, good luck, good luck. Alright, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. I've opened this product, this is the fourth time I'm opening this product on the channel. I opened it three times before, so without further ado, let's just get into it. This is, this is still so much fun to open because you get so many packs. I mean, right about now, I would actually love less packs and some more action-packed packs, but, you know, it is my 1,000 subscriber special, so I do need to to go out and do something really special for that, right? Because I only get 1,000 subscribers once. So how do you open this? There we go. Really strong magnet. You kind of open it like, like this. If I remember correctly, here is the playmat. There we go. Won't open this one because I already have it. And here are our promos and our packs. Let's see. More packs, of course. We also get one Darkness Ablaze. We get our acrylic V-Star marker. And let me just put these aside. So I can put this one back in, put this back in. Oh, mixing up all the packs, and then we also get this one. The dice or the damage counters have opened again. That happened before, that happened in my last one as well. I don't know why it does it, and this is the the really legit coin. I really like this coin, this is like one of the best coins out there, at least best looking. Charizard Golden Coin, I actually put this one aside and leave everything else in here. All right, put this aside, actually put the, the playmat back in. There we go, and then get this off the table. All right, a bunch of Sword and Shield era packs, and we also have this cool-looking, these cool-looking promos. Once again, I've opened these already, so I like to keep these sealed, sorry about that. But we also have some Fusion Strike to contend with. I have a love-hate relationship with Fusion Strike, but ah, what are you gonna do? One of these days I'm gonna open Fusion Strike and maybe get lucky. Skitty, that's a really cool, cute looking one. Look at this one, look at Skitty. Very cute looking. We got a Phalanx, we got a Choodle, Wallaby, Dupiter, got a Caterpie, and a Zera Aura non-holographic. Okay, here is the code card for that one. Alright, I mean, I, I'm expecting nothing from Fusion Strike because, as I said, love-hate relationship with Fusion Strike. So let me just get Fusion Strike over with. And then we can contend with other ones, maybe with Astro Radiance, because I do have better luck with Astro Radiance, and I also kind of prefer Astro Radiance, because I, in my opinion, the set is much better, because there's so many cool cards in here. Here we have Fusion Strike code card. There you go. All right, one more Fusion Strike, and look at look at Evolving Skies peeking through. What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Evolving Skies or Evolving Cries? 
We're gonna we're gonna know in a few right here. First off, though, we have to open a few other packs. Gligar, Slugma, Azumarill, and a Toxic Croak. As I said, that is just Fusion Strike. That's just Fusion Strike for you. Or at least for me, Fusion Strike. I never pulled anything good from Fusion Strike. I said it multiple times. I think the only good card I pulled from Fusion Strike was actually um, the what should we call it? The Sandaconda alternate art. So we have Vivid Voltage, Lost Origin, Astro Radiance. Yep. That's where we're gonna. Oh, right. This is why I always found this set a bit odd. Because it did not feature Silver Tempest. Because I think this released when Silver Tempest wasn't around yet or something like that. Or maybe it was planned before Silver Tempest was released. That's why I always found this, this box a bit weird. I think instead of featuring Vivid Voltage, it should have definitely featured um, Silver Tempest. Right, Barboach, Scyther, we got an Eevee, Decidueye, and a Mesprit Holographic, okay. Kinda makes me think of that Mesprit Illustration Rare that was recently released. I think that's also in Surging Sparks, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Because I pulled it from um, Super Electric Breaker, so it is in, in Surging Sparks. Okay. We've got a Ralts, Nicket. Astro Radiance. Astro Radiance is also pretty special to me, because I pulled my very first alternate art um, in this set. Not not my very first alternate art when I started back collecting, but the first alternate art I ever pulled on the channel was the Dialga from Astro Radiance, so I guess that's why this set is actually really, really special to me. Maybe we can get lucky. Maybe we can pull an alternate art. That would be cool. Just any alternate art is already really cool to pull in in the Sword and Shield era. Yo, that is just as cool. A black and gold Ice Rider Calyrex. Nice. And an Avalok there. Choi. And here is the code card for that one. Very nice. Okay. I'll take it. I do like these black and gold cards. I think they're super neat. I think these are super neat. I wonder what they're gonna do with this high class, with this year's high class set. Because these were from VMAX Climax, and then you have the the green or bluish and golden ones from V-Star, not from V-Star Universe, these were from V-Star Universe. And then the other ones from Shiny Treasure EX. Wonder what they're gonna do this time around. Because there are gonna be like golden cards in that set. Wonder if they're gonna do something special like they did with the other two, with the other two sets. Alright. Lost Origin, now let's open these three first. Darkness Ablaze and Vivid Voltage. Because I'm not holding my breath for these ones as well. It still feels kind of odd, why would they add Vivid Voltage? I guess Vivid Voltage kind of makes sense. Because Vivid Voltage was also kind of notorious. Because of that, um, that Rainbow Rare Pikachu, right? Shift Tree, just right there. Shift Tree in here is the code card I'm covering that, sorry about that. Maybe because of that Pikachu, maybe that's why Vivid Voltage is in here. Maybe, maybe that's why. I mean, Evolving Skies, that is nice. Because Evolving Skies gets more expensive each day, and it's kind of nice to open it up every once in a while, even though most of the time you're gonna be disappointed when you're opening Evolving Skies. Ooh, I've kind of forgotten about these. Amazing rares. We got an amazing rare Zamazenta. Very nice. And an Ampharos V. Talk about a double pull in one pack. Very nice. Got a Drone Rotom. Haven't seen that one before. That card looks very cool. Very cool. All right. The Zamazenta is getting sleeved up as well. There we go. I think my power bank is not happy with me recording for this long because my key lights just went out. And the power is also down to 23%. So I actually kind of need to hurry up. Luckily, though, we are almost done. It's just these few packs and then the crowning piece of of this booster box, of course, or of this mystery box, not booster box. Vicavolt V. Nice. There we go. There we go. And here is the Darkness Ablaze code right there. Very, very nice. All right. We're, of course, going to save Evolving Skies for last. Well, semi last. Let's open Brilliant Stars and Lost Origin. Actually, let's open the Lost Origin first. After not pulling almost anything from that Elite Trader box, maybe we can get lucky at least in this one right here. Let's see. We got a Bronzor, Makuhita, we got a Jinx, Basculin, Inkei, Gliscor, Sableye. Okay, well, at least that's a holographic. Not too shabby. Here's the code card for that one. 
Nair is the code card for that one. Hang on. All right, one last Lost Origin pack up right here. Come on. Give us at least something, Lost Origin. Lost Origin, Rhyhorn, Wormpaw, we've got a Gligar, Lufdisk, Electrike, Poliwhirl, and nope, just a non-holographic right there. That's okay, though. That is okay. I'm, of course, saving all my luck for Evolving Skies, as you know. I'm channeling all my luck. All of these, these packs that have pulled nothing, especially Crown Zenith. Especially Crown Zenith. I'm channeling all of my luck into Evolving Skies. Maybe I should channel all my luck into Tech Team GX Old Stars. Shroomish. Purloin. Sneasel. Duskull. I've got a Corfish. Gonna make Mortar very cool looking. Entei V. Very nice. Let's put you over there. Charon and a Kindler right there at the end. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, though, this time around, we have no Umbreon art, or no, no Umbreon uh, pack art. So, no Umbreon pack art, unfortunately. I'm actually going to show you something in a, in a sec. Let me just open these last two Brilliant Stars packs, and then we'll see. Drampa V, okay. We're pulling all the normal V cards, but nothing after that. No, no other thing. Only, only just the normal V cards, which is better than a non-holographic pull, mind you, so... I'm not too, too mad about that. One last Brilliant Stars pack. Let's see. Maybe we can pull an alternate art in this one. Actually, no, don't pull an alternate art in this one. Save the alternate art for, for Evolving Skies, of course. Grimer. We got a Shinx. We got a Grottle. And a Breloom. Okay. We got a Breloom there at the end. Here is the code court for that one. All right. Evolving Skies. Let me actually get a little bit closer for this one. There we go. So, Evolving Skies. Um, I actually still have the pack that gave me the Umbreon VMAX. This is the pack from that Charizard Ultra Premium Collection that I pulled the Umbreon VMAX from. Yes, I framed it up. I don't know if that's cool or nerdy or anything, but there we go. Maybe I can, I can add one to the frame. Let's open the Duraludon pack first. And I actually, I do want to do the card trick. So I think what I have to do, let me just put these down so we don't see any shiny borders. So let me just pull the code card out. There we go. Oh, here we go. Evolving Skies code card. Let's do one, two, three to the front. Here is the energy, darkness energy. Ooh, Umbreon, scary stuff. Scary. Now nah, it's just going to be Evolving Cries, realistically. We're not going to pull anything. But it's nice to dream once in a while, right? It's nice to dream. Lotad, Lit Leo, Bagon. We've got a Crystal Cave and a Stoutland. Okay, and a Stoutland, right? So I'm gonna save the Rayquaza for last. Evolving Skies. We got a Sylveon pack out right here. So actually, let me do this. Let me open it like right here. There we go. Push everything down as to not spoil anything. Pull it out like right so, pull out the code card, there we go, Evolving Skies. One, two, three to the front. We'll flip over the Metal Energy, don't know what that means. Maybe there's a secret code here to follow. Tentacruel, Herdier, Aroma Lady, got a Wubbuffet, Roggen Rolla, Rufflet, got a Dweeble, a Nicket, we've got an Avalok, and we've got a Pinsir, and up it's just Evolving Cries. Ah, evolving cries. Evolving cries. Maybe Rayquaza. Come on, Rayquaza. Rayquaza, you can fix this. You can make my day quite literally, Rayquaza. Maybe pulling the Rayquaza as well. That would be nice. Let's see. All right. Here we have the code card for that one. We do one so of course, three to the front. Flip this one over water. That doesn't mean anything either. Let's see, Digging Gloves, Palliotoad, Crustal, Lotad, Hitmonchan, Cutiefly, Eevee, it's spotting the Rayquaza, maybe that's a sign. What does that mean? Let Leo, Time Pole, and just an Altaria. Man, it was Evolving Cries after all. It was Evolving Cries. Ah, what a shame, what a shame. 
See, and this is why you shouldn't rip Evolving Skies. Just keep it sealed, keep it sealed for 10 years and then sell it. You're way better off. Welp, we're almost approaching the two hour mark, at least in my recording. Let me actually zoom in for this one. We are approaching the two hour mark, but we still have one last product to open. The Tag Team GX All-Stars Booster Box. This is gonna be really, really special. Alright. I've been meaning to open this set, so I'm really happy that my friend was able to add this one to the mystery box. Really, really happy. Alright. Let's open this one up, breaking the seal. Sealed collectors, you best look away right now. Because the seal is broken. And how do I open this exactly? I do want to open it without damaging it. So, ah, man, how do I open this? Come on. I don't want to rip the box. There we go, okay. I got it open. Yeah, there we go, okay, nice. Right, flip it over. Hopefully there's no juice package in here. Come on. Why am I shaking? What is going on? Okay, no juice package, that's very, very good. We just have a bunch of these packs. Yo, I have been wanting to open this set for a really long time. And I finally can. Potential pulls that I want from this set are the... I think the number one pull would be the Sightseer. I do want to say, even though I have the Sightseer in in um, Chinese already in a PSA 10, so I think the other one would be the Mew and Mewtwo GX alternate art. Or the golden one, because the golden one is actually a, um, whatchamacallit, a Japanese exclusive that has not been pushed over to, to English. Okay, we have a Naganadal, I want to say. Uh, most of these Pokemon I'm not going to know. I'm just going to say that right off the bat, because I'm really sorry if I miss any of these. And um, here we have a Magnezone. We have a Zara Aura GX. Man, seeing these GX cards again... That is something, even though it's kind of strange. I never collected during the during this era when the GX cards were around, but still seeing them kind of makes me feel nostalgic. That is kind of strange, isn't it? That is kind of strange. All right, Zara, oh, that's a really cool GX card. All right, next pack up right here. Let's open it very, very carefully. Because I do want to keep these in good condition as well. These feel really, really thick for some reason. Like, way thicker than the than the normal Japanese packs. Like, way higher quality. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just imagining things. We have a Vaporeon. We've got a Diglett. We've got Morty. We have a Lolan Duck Tree. Oh, that was an Alolan Diglett. Okay. We have a... Some kind of Dojo. We have a Spirit Tomb. Okay, we have another Zera Aura by Kavayo. That artwork kind of goes hard, not gonna lie. That goes kind of hard. Okay, Buzz Swole and something. I've forgotten the name. Aroma Queen? No, 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 Aroma Queen. I've forgotten the name of this one. I'm sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I just know this is Buzz Swole. So a lot of these Ultra Beasts, I have no idea what their names are. We have, look at this cute Meowth. That looks so cute. He's he's chilling with like substitute plushes. That is so well done. Let me actually pull the the rares aside. Okay. Whoa. Jesus. That is really fun to open. I mean, all of this, all of the packs that I've opened in this video, this is probably the most fun I've had so far, though. It's also the most nerve-wracking because it only all highly depends on the super rare in this set, right? The Super Rare kind of makes or breaks this booster box, but then I'm not expecting anything great, really. It's I'm just here for the ride, really. Just here for the ride. Haven't seen this card before. It looks really cool. Oh, the Lycia. The Lycia. I don't think Lycia is in this set, right? Lycia is in a different set. Mimikyu. Very nice. We've got a Blastoise. Look at that illustration. Look at that, Blastoise will put you aside. Ooh, the Prism cards! I've forgotten about these. The Prism cards. Okay, ditto. Have we had... No, no, no Super Rare. Maybe it doesn't have a Super Rare. Maybe it was weighed out. Um, this is Necrozma, right? I have to admit, I haven't played... Oh, the Mew! Oh, look at this! 
Look at that reverse Mew, that looks so nice. Oh, this is this gets a special spot right here. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really, really nice. The Mew. We have to keep the Mew like in the video somewhere. Let's let's keep the Mew right here. Actually, that's glaring. Let's keep it right here. There we go. We have the Mew as a good luck charm. Maybe it works like that. Yo, okay, so I have to admit, I have actually, I haven't played um, Pokemon Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. I've played Sun and Moon, but not the Ultra variants. I think that's like one of the only series I've never played before. I don't know why. I don't know why I've never played those before, because I've heard good things about them. Maybe I will at some point. Maybe I will at some point. We've got a, what is this, Cherish Ball? We've got a Volcanion. We have an Absol, that looks really cool. Absol, we have a Keldeo GX. Okay. I mean, since this is also a, whatchamacallit, a high class set, technically, technically, this set does feature God Packs, right? I wonder what a God Pack from this set would look like. Man, I'm also sorry that I'm opening up it so slowly, but I really want to take my time with this last one. Especially since you don't get to open these booster boxes every day. This is probably just a one-time thing. Because it's just too expensive to open like every week or something. Ooh, okay, another tag team card. Parasect. We've got another ball. This is like a catching for buck Pokemon. I've forgotten the name of this one. Alright, here's another Ultra Beast that I have no idea what their name is because I haven't played during that era. We have an Articuno. That looks very nice, okay. And we have a Rayquaza GX. Check this one out, that's also a really cool illustration. It's by 5-band graphics, but that's actually well done in my opinion. Usually I don't like the stuff by 5-band graphics, but that's actually really well done. Here's the Vaporeon reverse. I wonder if we can pull the normal version of that Mew. Why not if we can pull that one? Okay. I think we're about halfway done with this pack right now. So we shall see. We shall see what we can pull in here. At some point, the Super Rare is going to show, right? Get an Eevee. This one is also a full art that I think have, has never been published in English. Uh, same with the Roxy. The Roxy you can also pull in here. That one has also never been... Never been pulled over to English, so a lot of exclusive artworks in this one. Giovanni, Giratina, very cool. Got Girachi, and we've got a Dedene. Double rare, look at this, very cute. Ooh, and a super rare Psychic Energy. Okay, kind of forgotten this. these were in here. Super rare Psychic Energy, very nice. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't take the spot from the normal Super Rare. Hopefully you don't just get an Ill an energy. They wouldn't do that, right? They would never do that. I th they did that in um, VMAX Climax, I think? Where you get, like, you get at least one promised energy, right? Or something like that. I'm too nervous to think of right now. Because we still haven't pulled the, the actual Super Rare. Maybe. Maybe it's in this one. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, maybe I should have just opened the the high class sets. This is so much fun though, but also kind of nerve wracking, because behind every card there could be that super rare. Yveltal, very cool illustration. Zapdos. Oh, the Mewtwo and Mew GX, nice. Oh, that is cool. That is so cool. Okay. Let me sleeve this one up, because I actually might send this one in for grading, just because. Just because. That looks so cool, okay. You also get a special spot. Man, I'm running- I'm running out of special spots to put my cards. Maybe I can summon them here with this. We've pulled the, the regular one. Maybe we can pull the alternate art, that would be nice. Okay, let me see how many packs we have left. Three packs left, alright. I do want to keep the box in good shape as well, because I only have one of those. Okay. Let's see, I mean, at some point... Oh, that pack, unfortunately, did rip at the... 
at the front there, that's a shame. All right, so land it. it uh, that's not a jump loft, that's like the, uh, the hop hip, I want to say. I might be wrong. Got a welder. We've got the professor from um, Team Plasma, not a Team Plasma, from the Ether Corporation, there we go. We have Professor Elm. We have a Weavile. There's a Marsh, no, not Marsh Tomb. Ooh, that's also really cool. And by Mitsuhiro Arita. The Giratina and Garchomp GX double rare. That's a really cool one as well. And here's the reverse. Let me pull the, the rares aside as well. Put them over here. So far, though, no super rare. May hopefully, hopefully that energy doesn't mean that there is no super rare, no normal super rare. I don't think they would just give you a a super rare energy and nothing else, right? They wouldn't do that. That would be such a shame. That'd be such a shame. Or maybe this has been tampered with, who knows? Who freaking knows? Raikou, yo, look at that illustration. Look at that one, that looks Yo, the Mew! Oh my god, the Mew! I pulled the Mew, nice! And the double rare more while, okay. And oh, here's our super rare, the Mel Metal. Oh, it was behind there, okay. The Mel Metal super rare, okay. Very nice. Let me sleeve this one up. And let me also sleeve this Mew up. All right. Well, at least now we know it hasn't been tempered with. We've pulled our super rare. Still have one pack left. So let's see what's what's in here. Don't know what to expect in here. But we'll be we'll be surprised anyways. Let's see. Jolteon. I can go a bit faster now, because the super rare has been pulled. There's no suspense anymore. Got a white Kurem, I think. Zoroark. Oh, the Pikachu and Zekrom GX. Very. Very nice. And a Sneasel right there at the end. Right. Well, this set was really fun to open, even though I've only pulled the Melmetal GX. I've pulled the... the Mew in a reverse and a holographic. And I've also pulled the Mew and Mewtwo GX double rare. That in itself is... is already really nice. I'm kind of losing my voice over here. I've been going for so long, so I'll use that opportunity to end the video. We're over two hours long, don't know how long it'll be after editing. But there you go, I hope you enjoyed this 1000 subscriber special, and if you did, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't, then give it a dislike, tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button, click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, peace, peace, take care.